So I had this thought. I don't think it's an original thought, but hear me out. Satan's objective in these last days is to take God out of the equation on so many levels. God gave me the uh, understanding years ago that everything seasons and cycles. Out of the good book of Ecclesiastes, it says that there's nothing new under the sun. So I just put a twist on it that everything season and cycles because it has happened before. Because we are and we're given domain over this thing called earth. Our reasoning makes us understand the cycle. In the last days, as things season and cycle, it's very important to learn. Been doing videos a lot about the migrants lately. There's an aspect that I think that we're missing. There's a connection between migration in the book of Revelation, I believe chapter 13, where no man will buy or sell without the mark. But there's something that leads up to that. If you migrate, if you bring people into, let's say, to America, you don't vet them, you just bring them over. Call it whatever you want to call it, sanctuary city, whatever. And you connected to what a lot of economic analysts have, have been saying. Even Elon Musk said it years ago that we're headed toward a universal income, universal base income. It, it, it all ties in. Like the video I did earlier in relation to uh, the, the guy here from Chicago, that black guy, I forgot his name, but he he's, a, um, he's an activist. And he talked about on the south side of Chicago, which I'm going to try to go over there and interview some people from the neighborhood about the migration issue that they're having. I believe it was Inglewood, Inglewood, here in Chicago. The government is offering a thousand dollars to have blacks move out of the neighborhood, but they're bringing in migrants for nine thousand dollars. You ever ask yourself where they getting the money from? If we're so broke, we have budget crisis, and we do have them here in Illinois, but where they getting the money from? To me, it's a, it's a form of universal base income. And it's right in our face. You just have to study it. And it hit me today. They're programming us to do the opposite of what Genesis said when the scripture says, go out and be fruitful and multiply. Just like they have arguably affected the foods over the generations, and it has less healing in it. I'm going to say it again. The foods that we consume, the processed foods, the fried foods, in the garden. And even probably up to maybe 150 years ago, food healed you. 
Be fruitful and multiply. God has something in the garden and the plan was to sustain you. But most of all, again, Satan wants to take God out, out of the equation. So be specific on this. Being specific on this, what I'm saying is if you're getting everything free in this capitalistic world and you've put people for generations on welfare, all you're doing in, in this generation is masking what you've always wanted to do. Be an antichrist economic system. You don't want people to be fruitful and multiply. And the main objective is God gave us hands, eyes, mouths, feet. We think. We pray. We thank God for what he's done. If the government has given it to you, Your reverence and thank, thankfulness to God is diminished. I'm going to say it again. If the government is giving it to you, your reverence and thanksgiving to God is diminished. That's what I mean by we're taking God out of the equation. Just wanted to throw that at you. We're here to bless each other. But if we, be, if we become dependent upon this one aspect for whatever reason, because we're, we're slowly being pushed that, whether it's AI or a bad economy, which I see it now. You wonder why Joe Biden is destroying the economy and economies around the world are being destroyed? The goal is universal base income. That's the goal of the Antichrist. And again, with that, God don't get no glory. Thus, God is taken out of the equation. It's deep, y'all. Then once that's enacted, then once people are acclimated into that new system, then the truth will come out. And they'll make it so you can't buy or sell without this mark. But they're gonna gradually put us in the system. Disturb the economy, disturb the weather, disturb anything and make any and everything diametrically opposed to God's order. Take God out of the equation. Then man's focus is no longer on the Heavenly Father and thanking Him for your daily bread or the activity of your limbs. Arguably, it will be lessened. But then you'll start giving thanks to those who put this new economic system in order. The Antichrist economic system. That's my thought. What do you think? I'm French Shop here. you like the work, please subscribe, thumbs up share with your friends I never thought of it like that till I thought about it today they've 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 they have deliberately destroyed the economy as they introduce economic systems making us dependent upon them thus gaining worship thus gaining worship taking God out of, the, out of the equation.
Wow. God bless you.